Welcome back everyone, Tone here with what should be the exciting conclusion, win or lose, to our current unfair slice and dice playthrough. Uh, there have been so many fights that have come down to the absolute, like, thinnest final <laughs> wire here, and uh, just very exciting and wild uh, victories in these fights so far. Now, we're up to the last two floors though. Uh, we have what should be a very powerful item to choose. Um, so let's see if we can pull this together in the end here. Uh, by the way, if you guys would like to support this channel and my other related projects, you can do so over at patreon.com slash tonehack. So feel free to check that out. Um, our friendly dolphin returns. Copy the value of the previously used dice this turn. Uh, we have that echo wanderer synergy again. Uh, we have the Ace Synergy again. This is feeling a lot like our last turn, or last run. Um, that could be, could be very strong on Fencer if we get some high-value dice going with this AoE. It could be very good on Doctor with this Regen and Mana Gain. He's like dual-purpose sides. What does Bullseye do? Add Engage to the middle column. Times 2 versus targets on full HP. Um, that just looks awful here because we have three high hit point enemies here and we have a boss coming up next. Um, so I'm going to snap pick the Dolphin. We also have a random tier 9 item. Uh, but I think Dolphin will be very good here. Um, so Dolphin was a naturally very strong pick on the Ace. I think we just put it there. I mean, it looks really good on the fencer as well. It's some big double da double damage and damage all enemy attacks going. These aren't very good again in this fight because if they hit the basilisk, we lose that side. I also don't have a lot of high damage sides to pair that with, except for the wanderer, Wanderer's um, arrow sides, which grow every turn. But these grow slowly where AoE becomes less reliable. It does mean these do double get to get used twice, which is kind of nuts. So the Wanderer does like five damage with this and the Fencer does five damage twice, etc. Um, we get some big AoE shields in the Bard with the Echo, which actually is probably very good for this fight. Especially with Clink. We have a lot of cleave attacks, damage to all enemies, cleave. That might be my favorite here, actually. I don't have a lot to raise this much higher than two right now. It's another slow one. I just don't have any like big bursty attacks to make this echo really prop proc early, which is unfortunate. I think I'm either gonna put that on the fencer. It's still really good on the ace. Pretty much guarantees you get the double here. Honestly, if we're leaving this at two, we have a lot of things that are going to proc for two anyways. That becomes really good, again, tied with the Wanderer's Echo. Or Era. Probably going to run something like this. That cleanse is really important here. Ooh, that's a good combo. The sickle doesn't work without this shield because it just procs that. I didn't notice that before. That's really good. All right, I'm cool with this combo right now. Or this is double damage twice, which I can proc off of a four. 
Ooh. So putting the Singularity here to get these four mana sides um, is really good with Echo too. So this guy could do eight damage with this. Does bursty damage. Man, th we had this fight with Barricade before, which is brutal. Um, it feels a lot more manageable now. Uh, what's the bard doing? One block to all doesn't seem that useful, so I'll reroll you. Um, that's going to be a big block. Uh, this is the Wanderer's worst turn, so I guess if I'm going to take an X, I'll take it now. Although we could have done like a big draw play or something. Okay. What do we want to burst down here? I think no one dies right away. Probably just start attacking one of the trolls. Taking five. Hmm. Is there a way I can get my overflowing chalice bonus and also keep everyone alive? Wait a second. This could even do more damage. I can do 12, which will kill one of the trolls, but not the basilisk because I can't use this twice on them. This doesn't actually save anyone. This does, so I think I killed the bottom troll. And then I continue blocking the bard. No, I do this. That is a cool combo I hadn't considered. This works for me. Man, we went from being like really low damage to doing 16 in a turn. Pristine times two if you have full hit points. We can get with liquor. Oh my gosh. This is gonna one shot someone. Uh, not quite. It's actually going to do the same damage as this. Unless I can get a heart on here. A uh, mana heart. Uh, that side doesn't seem very good for you. Well, it does about as much damage as anything else. So maybe I just take it. Do I reroll for the mana gain on this? Probably. I think the burst damage is significant. Boom! So this troll's gonna... Ooh, I can kill the Basilisk here. It's probably better. Mm. I like the idea of killing the Basilisk because they can be more annoying. And they'll be harder to kill if I'm trying to use these W sides. Killing the troll probably saves these people much more easily because he's doing three damage to the three people that are dying. Killing either of them he'll saves the bard. The bard is going to block for someone, which will save them. Then you can heal someone for three. It saves some. Okay, yeah, this is fine then.
8 damage. Pristine. Wait. Why did that only do 8 damage? Echo overwrites it. Is that why? Well, that's kind of dumb. That's really dumb. <laughs> oh, this is range though, which is nice because um, it means we don't lose this when we hit the Basilisk because of our fletching. I think that's probably another bug with Echo. Feels like it should like not overwrite that. It would be more interesting the other way around. I'm not just saying that because it like helps us a lot right now. Because um, the issue we had with Echo last run was a, a bug where it acted weirdly with Copycat, I believe. Um, so that makes what we do this turn a lot more difficult. Um, I can actually burst you. This uses way more mana than I was planning to use this turn. What a cool combo. Charged and Echo. Do it again. Nice. Well, that fight went a lot easier. Okay, this is a new boss. I have never seen them before. The Hand. Handicap, all heroes, plus one to all sides. That means all of our heroes get plus one to all sides. They summon three sabers, 10 damage petrify. Boy, am I glad we have cleanse. <laughs> Transforms 10 sides into stone. Or liquor cleanse, I mean, on the doctor. Uh, 10 damage cleave, oh my gosh. We can't. Oh no. How does Mortal even deal with that? I don't like this fight is looking like. Oh, jeez. What kind of synergies, synergies that we have here? We have an Echo. Plus two with Origami on the right sides. Plus one to the minus or the lowest pip sides. Um, this guy has Cleanse. Copycat, like this. Can you imagine putting Echo on the ace, then proccing that off of a high thing and getting it doubled, and then playing this again immediately? Uh, I wonder if that doesn't work because this is the last dice that's used. I was thinking that it would pair off of itself. Like you'd play it and then play it again and it would double again. But I think playing this would probably break that. I'm not sure because this doesn't have pips, but probably would. Previously used dice. Cleanse, shield. I 
can get some big cleaves on the stalwart if I put Echo on them. The Mimic doesn't look that great here. Oh, what kind of loadout do we bring into this fight? Echo on the fencer could be huge for these sabers if this guy just ends up spamming spawning sabers. I feel like I'm gonna need it for the ace to generate like a ton of mana. I can constantly playing be playing like liquor on people. This guy like cleaves us once like on the first turn and we just lose. <laughs> this is tough. Uh, they do give us plus one to all sides. Which is not insignificant. We're not going to have the bard. Well, we can keep the bard if we want. All right. I'll tell you the truth. Hmm. What does a sickle look like on these guys? That becomes a 4 damage cleave. Between sickle and the handicap. Remember all the happy times we had? We have a fair amount of blocking. We have clink still. I think we're taking the stalwart here. Let's shoot these sabers. I think we need something that can block a lot. But I really want to play for this. Get some fat fencer attacks off. Wanderer attacks. Maybe this side wins us the, the run too. Like quickly. Very much we block if I take the mimic. Right. I'll tell you the truth. We don't. First, I think we have to take the stalwart. They get the sickle. This plus clink is a full block. I think Echo has to go on the ace. So we can just generate a ton of mana. Most turns, hopefully. side.
Where else would I put Singularity? Dang, this with Echo is kind of insane, actually. Uh, it's not going to get much higher than 4 damage, though. So it's about as good as this. I feel like I, I do this on one of these. The 4 damage to all, and then 6 damage pristine are pretty cool. This is similar enough to a 4 damage to all, but it's pretty flexible. No one gets cleanse. You have cleanse there already. Oof, well... I think I'm rolling in like this. Is this mana really where we want Echo? I think we need it for Clink. Which I do have equipped, right? Yes. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh, barely didn't get that, but okay. Okay, four damage quad use. Take this, or do I look for poor damage for Steen? Two damage to all doesn't feel like a lot here. I think I'd rather get some burst damage. I need to roll for more mana on you on this first turn. And why are you rolling Exert? I can't have you out of the fight for a turn. These would heal the fencer and let them do 8 damage to someone, which kills a saber. I can't like burst down the hand this turn, right? 41 damage. I could do 8, 16. That's half of your health. But we don't get much further than that. Um, that's big. I have to take this. So I do kill both sabers here. And we have to try and protect these guys, which I can do if this guy rolls freaking mana. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is actually a really good first turn, I think. Yeah! Ooh, we're gonna have so much mana, because now this works like that does. Hold up. So this is doing eight damage. Yeah, so, so Echo is applying after Pristine. Um, so I'm gonna have 16 mana. Can I burst down the hand? I can do 16 plus eight, then I can do 16 more damage. That's 40. I'm one off. Because you have an A in your name. I think we get close. We do that and get close to that, though, and then we can finish them off next turn. I'm gonna undo this in a second. I just want to see all this damage. Oops, I did it wrong already. Echo overwrites pair too. Oh my gosh. This sucks then. 
Is that what we learned last time? Oh, this is terrible. Am I throwing just by taking that in the wrong order? What happens if I play this? It's the same. How come it works on that, but not that? That's so confusing. I guess Pristine acts weird with it. I can play Draw on the Wanderer to get four more damage out of them. Which is pretty good value. Well, I have to do this first with Clink. Do I just kill the Saber and try to deal with the hand next turn? No, I think we want to try and get the hand down. Oh yeah, I only had three of these left, so Draw would have really only been plus three damage. I couldn't have bursted the first guy, right? He had 11 health and I did 8 damage to him. Yeah. Um, I do have to spend 3 mana. So I can play burst once and let the other mana go to waste. I guess I may as well have played burst on this. Or draw on that. I don't think it changed anything with the first guy because I was already overkilling him. And then we get overflowing chalice here. Okay, 10 petrify. I feel like I can deal with this. Hair again. Probably reroll for that again or this. Four shield. Awesome here, actually. I just remember how to save mana for liquor if I let him get petrified. You reroll for double use or pristine, probably double use. Just take the four damage on you. Uh, I probably heal you again. Actually, with six regen, you're pretty much always going to be at full health for this side. But this side's too valuable to not. First on the hand this turn, I have eight. Fourteen health. I'm one short again. That that plus one health from the A in their name is uh is brutal, huh? I think we'll probably play Clink again here then. Well no, because I can kill the Saber if I want. Was I supposed to play draw on anyone? Hmm. This is awkward. I guess there was no reason to kill the saber that turn. Because we're blocking with this cleave anyways for the most part. Uh, hmm. Only if I'm using clink to block, which I think I will. Probably play Liquor to block your Petrify so you can generate mana next turn. Let's do it like this. 
this. So this is with less health, but it's a little more even mana-wise. No, it's not even more even uh, mana-wise. We, we can afford to play Clink here. I don't, I don't know why I would even bother not playing Clink. I could have played Draw on Fencer to do two more damage. I'm just trying to optimize my mana at this point. I think I'm okay with letting one go to waste because we're going to get two for free. From overflowing chalice. Okay, let's kill this guy before he summons three sabers. Uh, no one's doing anything, so this is actually the perfect turn to get this on the stalwart. Except they won't be able to block next turn. Um, but man, I'm getting lucky drawing this pair. I think. I'm just gonna take all this mana. Probably should have just taken that too. I think it was enough to win with. That didn't work either. What's up with this thing? That was five damage. 8 mana, plus 5 pair on Echo. This is 3 base. That guy played 5. It has Echo, so it should be 5 base. I don't I, I'm not even going to try and figure that out. I have no idea why it's what it's doing. Oh, this just went down though? Did it have something to do with it? Because we lost the handicap. Uh, I think we won, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. Something weird is going on there, though. Oh my gosh. Unlocks an option, 10% roll for us. That's funny. What a. What a run. We got there in the end. Man, some of those low-level um, items, like Fletching for the range attack, and Origami end up being pretty good. I normally don't like prioritizing items like this. A lot of people seem to enjoy these because they can make powerful synergies, like this did earlier. But I don't know, speculative picks like that, that pay off later instead of now, just like aren't that great, in my opinion. Um, the clink item was pretty low level too, and this came in all very, um, very useful throughout the run. Wow. Yeah, I guess we'll submit a high score. This thing. Oh, that's that was tier five. That's pretty high level. Big Shield was even good up until like the end. Natural was really good. Very, very good. I guess Echo probably would have been went on someone else for that last fight if I realized how it never works like you expect it to. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Well, I guess we have to run another unfair run and see if we can get a streak going. Um, I, of course, don't really play for streaks, but we may as well. Because if I do hit another one, it'd be fun to do it on the channel. And I want to keep doing unfair and just seeing how things shake out. Um, these runs have been pretty good. Very enjoyable. Definitely looking forward to seeing... Like That was the first time I saw that boss, so we're still seeing lots of new stuff. Um, there are lots of... Tier 3 heroes I haven't seen yet. 
as well. So lots to discover in this game still. And I'm definitely still feeling out like what the best strategies are um, in this version. That hand fight definitely seemed like it... Um, the previous two bosses didn't really punish you that much for not having AoE. It seemed like AoE could be very useful for that hand fight if he summons a lot of swords. There were some variants, like there was one with the dragon where he starts with four archers, which are like <laughs> the weakest enemies, but when there's three of them, or four of them, and they're on the back lines and you can't hurt them there, and they're doing like an extra, you know, nine to 12 damage every turn. I, I guess they do two or three, right? So they'd be doing like eight to 12 damage every turn. And <laughs> you have to chip down this dragon that's doing its own amount of damage, but it has like 50 equivalent health potentially where you can hurt them. Um, they can be pretty brutal. Uh, but yeah, I'll, uh, that's all I have to say about this run. That was a blast. Really good stuff. Thank you all so much for watching. See y'all for the next one. Uh, I'll probably be doing more of this soon. Take it easy, everyone. Stay tuned in. I'll see you then.